thank you everyone for coming to Steno 24-7. I still need two more subscribers to get to 50 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, will you please take the time to come over to Steno 24-7 and subscribe today? I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. This is selection number 12, 383 words on the subject of insurance. This is going to be at 90 words per minute. Deep breath. Feet flat on the floor. And let's focus. Let's write. Gentlemen of the jury, the plaintiff filed this action in the district court of this county and alleged that the 19th day of June 2010, the defendant in consideration of the annual premium set forth therein delivered its policy of life insurance to Thomas M. Doolittle, deceased that the face of the policy was $6,000 with a provision, however, that in the event of death from an accident, the defendant agreed to increase the amount payable to $12,000. That on the fifth day of January 2010, said deceased, Thomas Doolittle died by reason of an accident that the plaintiff furnished the defendant with proof of death, knowledge, or information concerning the same and made demand upon the company for the payment of the total sum of $12,000 that on or about the 15th of March 2010, the defendant paid the plaintiff $6,000 by reason of the execution of the policy with the understanding. However, that said payment would preclude the plaintiff from prosecuting a claim against the defendant for the sum of $6,000 that the defendant refused to make further payments and plaintiff praised just judgment for $6,000, payment of which she claims is due under the terms of the policy. The defendant answered and denied generally the allegations of the petition and admitted that it was engaged in the life insurance business in the state of Alabama and issued the policy of life insurance on the 18th day of June 2003 to the plaintiff herein and admits that proof of death and other data in the form of affidavits, certificates, and statements were furnished by the plaintiff to the defendant, but alleges that said statements are insufficient to establish that the deceased died as the result of an accident and denies the plaintiff is entitled to recover any amount and acts judgment for its costs. Thank you so much for viewing, and hopefully I'll see you at the 100 word per minute video as well. Happy writing everyone.